but you're going to need a big day from Brandon Belak because the bullpen has been used up a ton in that last four games in Texas. You're going to see Brandon Belak out there making his 10th appearance. It'll be his ninth start overall. He does have a quality start under his belt. They'd like to get one out of him here today. And ball four, so good start. Profar draws a walk to begin the festivities here on the 4th of July. And that'll bring up Chris Bryant. Here's the 0-1. And that ball is sharply hit to left, so Bryant makes it first and second, no one out. And now it's Ryan McMahon. Line drive, short, short hop to Kessinger, bobbles momentarily, but they still turn the double play. Well done by Mauricio Dubon in the middle as they're able to turn the double play, getting McMahon on the sharply hit ground ball. They're just about a half step, a little bit of an awkward landing for McMahon. Now the Rockies all-star representative, Elias Diaz batting. Ground ball towards third, and that stays true in this inning. Gives up two runners and no problem. A double play and a ground out. Belak works through the first. Kyle Freeland this afternoon for Kyle making his second ever start at Minute Maid. His other start was very solid here. Yeah, and that's good to, to hear for Kyle. 17th starts already on the season, 4-8 and eight record. You know, the record and ERA at home are much better than they are out on the road right now for Kyle. Harold Castro makes the catch. One pitch, one out. Uh, you like Jolks coming up. Yeah, you like that if you're Kyle Freeland. Here's the 2-1 on Jolks. And this is in the air to right. Nolan Jones, pretty deep. Oof. Is there wind inside? I'm not aware of. I missed it. I missed the wind. Here's Kyle Tucker. That's strike three. And that's a wonderful start for Kyle Freeland down in Houston. Nolan Jones is the batter. And a one out walk to Jones. That's the second walk allowed by Belak. He walked pro far to begin the ball game. Gritchick hitting 293, 356 on base percentage, three homers and 19 RBIs. Kiner Diaz throw is well on the head. money. How about Dubon letting that ball travel to the top of the helmet? Kiner continues to throw out runners at a high clip this year. That was a dart down to Dubon who just racked it on top of the cranium of Nolan Jones. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Got him on a curveball. And Belak picks up his first strikeout. Side is retired. So a walk, but no harm done with Jones getting thrown out trying to steal second after an inning and a half. Astros nothing, Rockies nothing. Greg Kessinger has not seen a start in a while. His last start was June 16th, two and a half weeks ago. He drives one deep to left center field. Greg Kessinger, his first big league home run. Nothing like a start for the first time in two and a half weeks. And on the second pitch you see, Hits his first big league home run. Congrats, Greg. Kessinger puts Kyle Freeland in his book, the first name in that book for Greg Kessinger. Congratulations, young man. Got himself a hanging curveball and hit it 397 feet. How good does that feel? Ain't nothing like it, TK. Rockies get the tying run aboard here in the fourth. Two outs. That'll bring up C.J. Crone, an all-star for the Rockies last year. And that is fair. And it kicks off the sidewall. McMahon's got to hustle to get to third, and he will. That turns into a single. This one was But watch also interesting. the person down the line that's kind of guarding the line starts to reach for it, try to make a play on it. He's lucky that he didn't, so there was no interference there or anything like that. With runners on first and third and two out, Nolan Jones will be the batter. Ground ball, right side, Mauricio Dubon. He will underhand it to Jose Abreu, and Brandon Belak works around first and third in the fourth inning, continues to pitch well with runners in scoring position. It'll be Myers, Greg Kessinger, and Mauricio Dubon against Freeland. Little tapper over the mound. Jake might be able to beat this one out, and he does. Jake Myers, an infield hit to start the inning. Castro tried to make the play on the run, but with Jake's speed, he was in there. Now Mauricio Dubon the batter. Dubon has popped up and grounded out to third. Dubon shoots one the other way. Jones making a diving attempt. Can't get there. Myers on the move to third. Jake's being waved around. Here comes the throw by Castro. Myers is safe with a head first slide. Astros lead 2-0. Doobie with the double and more. Jake Myers having to get on his horse as his ball shot the other way. You can see Jake track and realizing that Jones wasn't going to be able to make a play on it. Puts his head down, forces the issue with Gary Pettis and the throw coming up the line and the beautiful slide in for that second run of the game. Jones has one of the best arms in all of baseball, but he short hopped Castro on that relay throw. 
with Dubon at third and one out for Corey Jolks. Up the middle, base hit. Knocks Freeland off the mound, and the Astros now lead three to nothing. Corey Jolks with the RBI. Not hit extremely hard, but hard enough to have Freeland's life passed right in front of him. Trouble ducking and getting out of the way, and with the infield drawn in, no chance for anybody to make a play on that as Jolks thrust into this lineup. Now two hits and an RBI. Field shades, Profar, the switch hitter batting left to pull. 0 1 hit the other way. On one hop, fielded by Kessinger going to his right, and he throws out Profar. That's a ground ball pulled left side to his left Bregman. Third baseman has it, throws across in time, and there are two outs. Ryan McMahon, the batter, and he sends one to center field. This is Brandon Belak's best start of the year so far. Six innings of shutout baseball on two hits. Belak still has his pitch count relatively low. That was a quick sixth inning. Well, Brandon Belak trying to go seven innings for the first time in his career at the big league level. That ball hit into left field, hit pretty well. Chaz, though, has it lined up on the warning track, puts it away. Diaz out number one. So one out here in the seventh inning for C.J. Crone. C.J. Crone taps one to short, coming in on a great Kessinger. Kessinger's made all the plays today at short, including a couple of nice double plays. All right now, Brandon Belak trying to work through seven innings as a major league starter for the first time, and he does. Brandon Belak, seven innings of two-hit shutout baseball in a game where the Astros desperately needed length out of their starter. What an outing for Belak. So now first and third with two outs. Chaz McCormick a chance. Lined out to center field with the bases loaded his last time up. There is a base hit. McCormick comes through again. Chaz continues his hitting streak now a five gamer. Adds to the Astros lead. It's now a four nothing lead. So it stays four nothing but Abreu will bat with two outs and the base is filled. And he got him. So three straight singles with no one out. Not an issue for Fernando Abad as he gets the next three hitters. Work to do, though, in the ninth. The Rockies down 4-0. Yeah, Ryan Stanek's going to get the opportunity to shut this game down. Not a safe situation, but he does have four saves in his career. He's got three as an Astro. Little punch shot off the foot of Stanek, and that's going to help. A throw picked by Abreu. Dubon points to Jose as he helped him out on a low throw, but how about Stanek with the redirection? Chris Bryant singled back in the first. Bryant two ground outs to the left side since. And this ball is lifted to deep left toward the Crawford boxes, and it's going to get on out. So the Rockies are on the board, 4-1, to one, on the sixth home run of the year for Bryant. Well, that got out in a hurry, too. That was over the Crawford boxes, up on the signage out in left field. That's the third hit of the day for the Rockies. This ball grounded to second. Dubon will have an easy play. His toss to Abreu for the second out. Swing and a miss. Ball game over. Astros win it four to one. Brandon Belak in his finest start of his career. The Astros really needed it on the day the bullpen was depleted. And Blummer, the Astros offense didn't score a lot of runs, but they put up a lot of hits.